Mark, I imagine the interview we're doing now would be very different to the one probably half an hour before the end of the game. Your emotions must have changed quite a lot. Um, yeah, I'm really angry, to be honest. Really peed off. I um, thought we actually played really well. And um, some of our football was scintillating. thought we had enough chances to win three games. But we showed a really soft side to us today. So we've been beaten in games before, no problem. Today we showed a soft side to us. It felt like the players got caught up in the emotion of the moment with the fans around and the players. Um, 100%. We talked about it a lot. We talked about it all week. We talked about it yesterday. We talked about it before the game. We talked about it at half time. You just have to manage the game. But it, we didn't manage the occasion for sure. Um, and then there was two or three things happened in the game that just can't happen. Impossible. Um, that showed a real soft side with this certain individuals and it, as, a, as a manager on the side it's very hard to affect it I guess in some ways when 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 the players are all as a group going through that um, well yes and no you have to take responsibility for all results when there's a draw um, it's a collective thing but there, there's just a couple of things happened in the game today which just can't happen if you want to be a footballer you Is can't that particularly do... the second goal all three goals yeah. something happened but what I don't want to do is come out and criticise people yeah. We've gone nuts in the dressing room, let people know. People have heard home truths in a really tough way. But they're not for the cameras, not for, it doesn't achieve anything. And um, so that was bitterly disappointing. I can't keep, can't keep saying you have to learn, because I won't be here. You with me? So um, I'll accept we're young. I'll accept, I've no problem with people making mistakes. So Carl's made a poor decision. I get that, I can, I can handle that, I can get my head around that. Some of the things I can't handle, or I won't accept. And I imagine that, I know you, you always try and be measured when you go in the change room and, and not be passionate, but is, is that the first time you've had to really do that this season? It's just, well, to be honest with you, it was Danny. I said, Danny, you, because they always hear from me, I'm always talking. Yeah. I said, you, you, you go today, you, you talk to me. Um, I've only done it once this season. But it has to be constructive as well. It has to be constructive as well. They're a great group. A pleasure to I love working with them. It's the best period I've ever had in football and I've had some good times. So I have to be really measured with that. We're 11th in the league going into the last game. Certain teams who are below us can't get above us now. So we have to be measured and talk about the season. But there's things that happen today. If you want to be a footballer, they can't happen. Wherever you go. And that's what was disappointing for me today. Um, we definitely showed a soft side to us today. Do you think um, with Danny Mandroy, he needs to stay on his feet a bit more? I think he, it seems like the officials, certainly today, were ignoring the challenges going on him. Um, I thought Danny was outstanding today. I thought he was really eye-catching. I thought he looked like a top champ uh, League One player today. Um, it's a catch-22 because Cole Stockton got some really cheap fouls that were never fouls. Um, I think there's a skill to buying fouls. So you have to be a bit cute. Oh, Tom Hopper was really good at it. Um, if you want to talk about people that everybody will know, Figo's the best in the world when he plays. Damien Duff was unbelievable at it. It's a skill. Played with Michael Chopper. He was brilliant at it. Um, and as I said, Tom, who we'll all know at the club, it's a skill. But we don't we don't ask players to go down. I think I think there's sometimes them. Sometimes you get them. Sometimes you don't. What I do know about Danny is. He's, he's not a cheat and I, I can't think of many occasions this year where he's gone down and it wasn't a foul. I think I can think of occasions where he probably could have stayed on his feet. Um, but I think he's a very honest player. And I thought, barring the obvious with Cole Stockton, who got a couple of goals and caused a lot of problems, I thought Danny had a real eye catching performance. Let's talk about some positives then. And try and we can't forget it, but put the last 30 minutes to the side. As you said, some really good attacking football. Yet another goal for Las Sorensen. I'd like to know what uh, he's eating at the moment. And then, obviously, another, I think, second of the season for Matty Virtue in the league. I um, thought Las showed his qualities as a wing-back and why we're we, we looking to play him there. Um, we tweaked a couple of things with him tactically today, which came out in the goal. Um, so, pleased for him. It was a great finish. I think he deserves that. He's had a great season. I thought a second goal was top class. It was a real brilliant counter-attacking goal and an, a real clever finish from that. Because when the ball came to him, I was thinking, please reverse it. And he did it and he, he's, he's hit the target. Um, I thought we scored two really good goals. 
then a 2 1. Danny's hit the post, it's a great technique. Pordy was so unlucky with his header as well. I thought on another day we could have actually cruised, but momentum changes, they get the goal. Um, at 2 0, the game should be over. And then unfortunately, something happens in the build up to the game, which I'm in the goal, which I'm particularly angry about, um, that we've got to do better at. And then it's game on. Uh, just finally, uh, a huge following today on a, on a, as we said right at the start of the, of the of the game. And I know you don't always like to go on about the fans, but to have so many here on a on a day like today was a great testament to the to the performance the team put in all the way through the season. It was absolutely phenomenal, and it'll stick with me for a long time in the memory because I thought we played really well at times today, and you can easily get lost in the results because we've been beaten by a team that's down the bottom of the league. And yet when the players and myself went up to the fans, they got a huge round of applause. You know, it, it's just so warm to see and encouraging and positive um, because we will make mistakes, we will have off days. Um, but to see that support, it's just, it's quite humbling actually for all of us because I think after the game, you know, I was get, saying to the players, going, get your backsides over there, I'm coming with you. And there was definitely a few nervous faces. And then we go over there and, and, and we got what I expected because they've given it to us time and time again. So a huge thank you. And when you've got a young team that are learning the trade and trying to become better in the crowd, they need that sort of support. So um, not just on the whole season, that, but a real big thank you for today because it's so easy to get lost up in the moment of losing a game. So, um, you know, a huge thank you on behalf of myself, the staff and all the players. But we've just seen it time and time again.